Hello again everybody and welcome to another video I mean, please, 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 please. So what I thought I'd do in this little video um, I just got the urge when I was looking up on my shelf and I saw the little wooden guy there you know the cheap wooden store the wooden store the cheap wooden mannequins that you can buy at the wooden store and just standing there next to my Manga Jesus comic book I thought you know I haven't given this guy enough attention, you know, he's sitting up there collecting dust, you know, he just wants me to draw him now and again, and he gets a lot of shit, you know, from a lot of highbrow people who are like, oh, this, is, this is shit, this is crap, this is fucking rubbish, he doesn't work, but honestly man, the fuck do you know, well you probably know a lot, but anyway, he's not that bad, yes he's not very flexible, and... Yes, you can't really put him in many positions, but I don't think he's really there for reference, per se. I think he's more there to teach you, man. You know, to teach you about volume and... Uh, what's that word? I forgot the word. Proportion. That's it. Yeah, I know, I'm an idiot. Uh, proportion. He's there to teach you about volume and proportion. You know? So I thought I'd just get him out, get him off the stand. You know, he seemed pretty happy that I was holding him. And I thought I'd just arrange him in as many poses as I could and make a little video of it. He's not that bad. He's, he's alright, you know? He hasn't complained when he's been standing up there. You know, he's okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I think he's just, he's not there to use as a reference. You know, he's just there for practice. You know, to get volumes and proportion, like I said before. What am I doing now? I'm not even doing anything. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, right, that's right. So obviously I'm stopping and then, you know, Moving him about as much as I can. He's a bit of a rusty fucker. Bit of a squeaky, squeaky old boy. But you know, he's probably better than still drawing from pictures. As long as you've got, obviously not if you're a beginner, you know, as long as you've got the basics down for, you know, proportion and uh, you've got some. Uh, know how on how to draw uh, basic shapes and that kind of shit then he's a good little thing man I recommend anyone just picking one up just you know if you're stuck and you don't know what to draw and just give him a wiggle around and you never know what you might come up with you know because at the end of the day it's all down to your imagination you know this guy isn't there to tell you, this wooden dude isn't there to tell you what, how to draw, you know. He gives you an idea, he gives you just a little snippet, and then your imagination has to do the rest. If you want it to, I didn't want it to, I don't have an imagination anyway, so I'm just copying from what I'm looking at. Yeah, I'm squeaky squeaky squeaking his limbs. So, and you can lie him down, look, he doesn't mind, like in this, in this pose, I just lay him down, and you know, like he's, uh, he's drunk, or he's flying, or he's flying drunk, he's falling, and he's drunk, yeah, well, that's what he did, he went up to the top of a building, you know, and he said, I'm going to jump off it to to uh, impress some ladies. And he already had a broken leg. As you can see, he's already snapped his leg on the way up. But he didn't care. He was full of tequila and, you know, uh, margaritas. And that kind of shit. Kind of cosmopolitan crap that people drink. Uh, yeah, so he went to the top of the 
building and he jumped off it drunk that's the story of this this one here sad man just always be careful you know when you're drinking you know your limit yeah Know your limit. The whole point of you knowing your limit is to go over it, isn't it, though? So, yeah, I, I took it one step further and I started putting the leg bones and stuff in. <clears throat> so, we've got the, the, the calf bones and the knee bone and the, uh, the big ham bone. Um, that's the top of your leg the foot bone and the arm bones I put in the arm bones and you, you know you can't see the bones on the mannequin figure but because of my animatical knowledge I know where the bones go and obviously the, the chest bone is the biggest bone in the human body and it sticks out like that and then I do in the little skull bones and there you go you see easy man just takes time practice makes perfect apparently but I don't believe in that I don't believe in perfect I think we're all perfect man I think the present is as perfect as it can be and it can't be any different. That's what I believe. No matter how bad things are going or how good things are going, it's always perfect, you know. <clears throat> so here I, I decided to have him bent over. I mean, he... He doesn't mind being humiliated for the sake of my, uh, what would you call it, my learning, for the sake of my learning, I think that's right, he doesn't mind being humiliated, so I drew him as if, you know, someone stuck a, a thingy up his bum, I thought it was funny, I did, I actually, I actually laughed when I, um, I posed him like that. I'm, I'm a simple, simple, simple man. Yeah. It is fun. You know, it is fun to draw this dude. I know that, you know, there's better um, models out there. I've seen some of the... Where you, they're really rare, but you can get some really, you know, highly manoeuvrable figures out there you know that are a lot better and would be a lot more fun to draw because you can pose them properly and stuff but i've looked and looked and looked and i can't find a decent one at least one that's within my price range which isn't very high it's very low in fact it's close to zero my price range for anything really So if this is the best you've got, it's better than nothing, right? I it is. You know. Yeah, I'll probably do more of these videos in the next few days. Yeah. I did quite enjoying this. It only it was only like a twenty minutes or something. I think it took me to draw these. Um, it was fun. A nice way to loosen up, you know, as well. You know, get a bit loose, loosey goosey. Yeah. 
Yeah. Don't really know what else to say now about this. Drawings that I'm doing. So I mean, as far as coming up with ideas, it's a good thing to do, you know, to use this guy. You know, start off with something basic like this, and then you think, oh, this is, I like this. Because I actually like this drawing that I did. I was like, oh, this is quite cool. Um, I like the pose. But I didn't take it any further than that. But it could. Maybe. Maybe it couldn't. Anyway, <clears throat> don't forget to put that bone in his head. It's not entirely correct, the head bone, but you know, I don't have any reference, so I think it's close enough. I don't know why I just decided to put the head bone in and not the rest of the bones. I don't know. Some strange. That, that drawing on the right, he's like bending over with one leg in the air. That's the, uh, the yoga pose you have to do when you've when your uh your scrotum has been uh drained of fluid they advise you to do this pose it's very painful but for the best because your scrotum shouldn't really be full of fluid. But if it ever is, then just do that. And you'll be okay. I learned that from a Buddhist when I went to Tibet. last week. So yeah, thank you for watching.